This video is brought to you by Skillshare. In this video, we'll go over how you can jailbreak iOS 14.7 using a Windows PC. Now first things first, this here is an iPhone 7 running on iOS 14.7. But before we jump into it, there are a few things I need to get out of the way. Jailbreaking iOS is safe and it's legal under the United States DMCA. This will be a full guide on how you can jailbreak your device on iOS 14.7. Not only I'll show you how you can jailbreak, but how you can unjailbreak if you ever decide it's not your jam, and of course, how you can install tweaks. This jailbreak is very safe and can be removed easily. And lastly, Google is your friend. Look, this video will try to be as comprehensive as humanly possible, but if you face any problem, you're likely not the first one to experience it. So go search Reddit, jailbreak forums, etc. Let's dive in. Alrighty. The very first thing you need to do is to go to the first link in the description and it will take you to a media file link. You'll see a big download button, click on it and the download for Checkroom Windows will start straight away. The file size is fairly decent so it's gonna take a couple of minutes to download this. By the time it's downloading, head on over to rufus.ie, scroll all the way down and you'll see a big download button which for some reason doesn't work. So just click on rufus 3.14 and the download for rufus software will start straight away. Now by the time these files are downloaded, I Now by the time these files are downloading, I can keep recording to get that extra sweet ad revenue or I can cut to when it's done. I think the later one is a better option. Now once these files are downloaded, the next thing you have to do is to go to the downloads folder or to the location where these files are stored. For me, it's in my downloads folder. You'll see the zip file, just right click on it and click on extract all. Now the first step is done and before we proceed any further, how does the idea of making your very own custom icons and setting them on your jailbroken device sounds to you? Well, that'd be pretty cool. And that's why I'm a big fan of Make Your Own Custom Icons class on Skillshare who are very kindly sponsoring this video. Now as we jailbreak our devices, we want all sorts of custom stuff from custom icons to custom wallpapers and everything in between. And the idea of making something and actually using it fascinates me. And that's what Skillshare is here for. They have over 25,000 high quality classes on pretty much anything from productivity to photography. And boy oh boy, I've got a deal for you. The first 1000 people to click my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. So what's there to lose? Click the first link and sign up for a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And if not, an annual membership is 10 bucks a month. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you don't see this extract all option, you can use something like bzip, 7zip or winrar to extract a file. It's fairly simple to extract a file and I know you can do it. Now once the extraction is completed, you'll see a disk image file. Grab it and move it to desktop because this one is really important. Close out from the extraction folder and head back to the downloaded location. So I'll just go to downloads, open rufus.exe and click on yes. We'll use this software to burn our ISO file in our pen drive to boot to check rate to jailbreak our device and as fancy as it sounds, it's fairly simple. So go grab a pen drive and select it under the drop down menu in the devices section in Rufus app. Click on the select button and go to your desktop and select that disk image file. Make sure under type it says it's a disk image file and click on open. Now you just have to click on start. Do note that everything in your pen drive from your important documents to your movies and everything else will be wiped out. So make sure to keep a backup of your pen drive. Use something like iCloud Drive or Google Drive to keep everything safe. For now, I'll just click on yes. Now this can take a while and I don't want to make this 20 minutes long with fancy ass music in the background. So I'll cut to when it's done. And as you can see, it says it's ready, but we need to do a few more things. Just click on the windows icon, go to settings and then go to system. Scroll down and here you'll see power and sleep. Make sure everything is set to never. Once you do that, don't do anything else. Just simply shut down your PC. Now, once your PC is completely powered off, the next thing you have to do is to turn it back on while rapidly pressing a key to enter in one time boot menu. As you can see, it says preparing for one time boot menu. For me, the key is F12, but how on earth you know what is the key to enter in one time boot menu for your laptop? Well, check the description, a fully detailed PDF file will be down in the description below which will have keys to enter in one time boot menu for all laptops. Just check the key and enter in one time boot menu. Now this one time boot menu screen thingy might look a bit different for everyone and maybe your trackpad or your mouse or your cursor won't work. 
in that case you can use those arrow keys to go up and down but all in all the basic idea is that you have to select your pen drive from one time boot menu to boot into your pen drive to jailbreak your device i'll select my pen drive and i'll press on enter now you can see check range 0.12.4 by Chester Tech and a huge shout out to Chester Tech for making this check range port for Windows. Go check out his channel, I'll link it down in the description below. And now you can see all of this stuff going on your screen. Don't panic, nothing will happen to your laptop or your computer. After following the process, you can safely boot back to Windows. Now this next step is purely optional, but I'd recommend you do it. Go to Touch ID and Passcode and remove any sort of passcode or password you have. You can re-enable it after following this guide, but for the sake of this video, remove any password. Once that's done, bring a high quality lightning cable to connect your iPhone to your computer and once you connect it, your phone will prompt you to trust your computer to establish a connection. Just hit on trust and hopefully it won't ask for any passcode or password. Once you do all that, go to options, press enter and then use those arrow keys to go up and down. You cannot use your mouse or your cursor and you'll see an option where it says allow untested iOS versions. There is an error. You have to enable this option to fix that error. Once you put a small check mark on that by hitting on the enter key, the next thing you have to do is to scroll down and I'll just adjust the exposure so you can clearly see it. And you'll see an option where it says skip A11 BPR check. Only enable this option if you have iPhone 8, 8 plus or iPhone 10. I don't have any of those. Right now I'm using an iPhone 7, so I'll just click on start and it says, hey, the version is not tested, do you want to continue at your own risk? I've tested it multiple times, I was scripting for this video, when I was making this video, just press on enter and it will put your device in recovery mode and we can start to jailbreak it. Now once your device is in fact in recovery mode, CheckRain will prompt you to do some steps. These steps differ from device to device, but for me, CheckRain is saying to hold the volume down button as well as the power button for 5 seconds and then I have to release the power button after 5 seconds then keep holding the volume down button. It will be on your screen, just follow what CheckRain tells you to. At this stage, CheckRain is checking if the device is ready, do not unplug your device at this stage. And now, it's booting back our device to iOS. Now by far, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen on my iPhone and when I first saw this, I was like, mind blown. But we'll wait for a little bit for this iPhone to boot back to iOS and as soon as I get back to iOS, you'll see I have Cydia but you won't have it because you have to install it because I tested it, I prepared for this video, I researched a bit and saw if it even works. But the basic idea is that you have to connect to Wi-Fi and then you have to launch the CheckRain app that will appear after jailbreaking on your device after a few seconds. This might take from 5 to 10 minutes or even 10 seconds sometimes. So just open the CheckRain app and install Cydia from there. That'll be it. Wow, that was a trip. Either way, that was pretty much it for this video. Leave a like if you found this helpful. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.